Good morning, my dear students of class six. Today, once again, I am here with a topic of computer studies that is PowerPoint presentation, and that is why I have made a presentation for you. That is PowerPoint presentation. So this is also a part of it. So this is our topic. presentation visual effects okay olden days also we had slide shows but for that some other machine was used which we used to call slide projectors okay nowadays we don't use it rather we use uh, lcd projector digital projector with the help of computer we do it okay so we'll see the history of it slide projectors see this is a kind of slide projector and here you can see the stack of slides and with this they used to show the slides so these are different kinds of slide projectors here you can see the slides and here there is a bulb you can see it's glowing inside and with the help of that they used to project it in a magnified form on the white wall or maybe on the screen or bed sheets or in this so here also you can see the stack of slides and this is also olden days slide projector now in modern technology also we have got the projectors but these are not old fashioned this is digital projectors like just above me i am in a classroom so here also there is a projector lcd projector with which you are watching this slide show all of you have seen it in your classrooms so this is the one so these are the various types of lcd projectors which is connected with your computer system so that you can see it the image on the bigger screen now here you see whatever is there on the screen of this laptop you can see google is displayed and here on a larger screen the same thing is there okay so this laptop is also connected with a lcd projector or a digital projector nowadays this is used in various fields whenever there is a seminar or something we use the projectors lcd projectors to show anything in a magnified form now suppose if i am going on talking with you it will be boring right but if i show with some pictures some videos then it will be interesting so that is why it is used in seminars as a teaching aid for online classes even in your normal classroom also we use this now here you can see a classroom situation where the teacher is teaching uh maybe this is a subject uh, biology anatomy of the ear and it's very easy to teach with the help of this presentation okay now what we are talking about microsoft power point ms power point what is it it's a software which is a part of ms office just like ms word ms paint ms access ms excel same way ms powerpoint or microsoft powerpoint is also one of the family members of ms office it's a software program that enhances your oral presentation what we are talking along with that if we use this powerpoint then it will be interesting okay now here you see powerpoint is a software program that enhances oral presentation so along with what we you speak we show something and that is that in that powerpoint helps you now there are three ways to create a 
presentation in PowerPoint. You have three ways. These three ways are blank presentation, sample templates, and themes. So one by one, we'll be discussing about all these three. The first one is blank presentation. So blank presentation, as the name suggests, blank. So it creates a blank presentation. That means the screen is blank. Now here you are free to design it. You can add the text, you can add the picture, you can add the video, you can add the audio, anything, it's up to you because it is blank. Okay. The next one is sample templates. Sample templates, that means the samples are given. Saved presentation with different themes and layouts. So it is already saved in the computer. You need not to design it. It is pre-designed, right? So it is pre-designed. There are many options. You can choose any of the sample templates. Computer provides you with many uh, saved presentations where we need not to design anything. Last one here, we have got themes. These are the set of pre-designed format of text, color schemes, and graphics, graphic effects. Okay, that means the style of the text, the background, the color scheme, everything is pre-designed. So we call it a theme. So when we are using the sample templates and the themes, it makes your work easier. You can make the presentation easily as well as quickly. If you want to do it on your own, that means in the blank presentation, either you should be very good or else you have to do everything on your own, right? But here it is done for you. The background, the text style, the color scheme, everything is done for you. You have to just select whichever you want. Now, all of you must have heard about this word animation, right? And you must be watching uh, animation movies, cartoons, etc. Right? In animation, what do we do? We add the effects, visual effects, sound effects. Okay? And this way you can make your presentation better and attractive. Okay? So we'll learn about this animation now. What is animation? Animation is used to add special visual or sound effect to the text or an object. Here object, what does it mean? Object, anything which you add in a slide, these are the part of the slides. Your text which you type, any of the picture which you add, video, audio, sound, anything that is called object. So what we do, we add special effects to this objects okay now four types of animation effects now we'll be dealing with this four types of animation effects and these are four three starts with e easy to remember entrance emphasis exit and the last one is motion path okay entrance emphasis exit and motion path so one by one let's see this entrance make the object enter the slide with an effect do you watch movies definitely yes and before the movies what comes directed by starring this and that so all these names they appear on the screen sometimes they come from up sometimes they come from down or left or right sometimes maybe in some specified manner it comes maybe it spins okay so all these things can be done here in this animation effects entrance is how you want your object to enter in the slide suppose if you have written uh, class 6 presence how you want it to come maybe from this side maybe from right side from top from bottom maybe from this corner or that corner uh, bottom corners okay all these things are possible with this entrance how you want the object to enter in the slide 
That's why you see it came from up. So this is emphasis. If you want to add an effect to the object, suppose something which is very important and you want to show it to your uh, group, or maybe friends for a longer time, maybe in some uh, with the special effects so that they can see it in a nice way. So for that you can add the effect with this emphasis, right? The third one is exit. Now as the object or the text whatever it has entered in the slide, same way when you want it to go, you want the object to leave the slide with an effect, we use this exit option. Okay? Suppose something is there and you want it to go. I don't want it on the screen, I want it to leave the slide. So just now what we are doing is all entrance. Okay? Exit means it will not be there on the screen, it will leave the screen. And the last one is motion path. So your object will move in a specified pattern. Whichever pattern, there are many patterns in the uh, software, you can choose whichever you want. So this is motion path, make an object to move in a special manner. Suppose one apple is there, the diagram or picture of an apple. Which way you want? You want it to move it in a spiral way or maybe this way, zigzag way. Anyway, all these things are available. Okay, you have to just choose the option from motion path. Okay. So just now I have given you four types of animation effects which you can include in your slideshow to make it attractive. Now, once we do this, what do we do? We uh, click the preview to see how it has become, to see the effects. We click the preview from preview group. Then you can preview the slide, how it looks, how it will appear when you show the slide. So, and all this entrance, emphasis, exit, and motion path, all these four types of effects, it is available in the animation tab in MS PowerPoint. Now, this is a very short topic, you can practice it at home, but just before leaving, I will show you how these four work, okay? The entrance, emphasis, exit and motion path, okay? Now look at the screen. This is entrance, okay? Let's stay home, be safe. Entrance, how I brought this? picture or the image on the screen, how it is brought in, that is entrance, okay. Now here you can see emphasis, next one. So it is spinning on the screen, so this is one of the options in emphasis. I have given it a effect, okay, visual effect, it was spinning. Now. This is motion path. Did you see this picture was moving here and there? So that was motion path. In a specified manner the object was moving on the screen. And the last one, exit. How this image or this object leaves the slide. Okay? Did you see? The slide disappears. Okay? Leaves the uh, this uh, image or this object has left. Same way, you can also try it at home if you have what? MS Office in your laptop, in your computer, okay? You can uh, use MS PowerPoint and with the help of your elders, you can try to make presentations if it is possible. Otherwise, also, we'll be doing it when the school reopens in the computer lab of our school. Till then, goodbye, stay safe.